Hey guys, I just wanted to make some clips of Anna's changes. Um, I wanted to save uh, some clips of her season 2 move and see how it looks like in season 2 and then so we can actually go over them in season 3 and see how much different they are. So what I, I'm testing here is how far the range of her rage drive and see which move doesn't hit. I'm only actually testing two moves here, so yeah. So at the moment, it pushes enough that uh, standing four and standing three will whip. So in season three, we'll try these uh, changes again and see if there's any difference. And here we're looking at the wall bounce, and this is after one flip from the reset. So as you can see, that uh, two couch does get the wall bounce and four four doesn't. So we'll see what happens in the future. Okay, and then this is a test of um, how close down four one can possibly leave you. Uh, at the moment, I've been testing some of these options out, and clearly the only one that's whiffing is um, down one. Uh, every other one does hit. The only other one that is kind of a little bit off is uh, standing two, but we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, see if that actually pulls you close enough so that down one will hit. And then here I'm just demonstrating to you that uh, this option is possible to do down three, four, one after a uh, slap, but uh, it is very inconsistent and it is quite a bit hard to do the option even if you hit them. Sometimes it won't juggle for you. So. Let's hope that the consistency will be a little bit better with the buff. And as I'm going to demonstrate here, 4-4 four, four, down 4 is a very hard option to hit. It doesn't hit. And down back 4 also doesn't hit. But what does help is down back 3 option now is better because you have a 5 frame advantage to go in and use this option. So even on wake up guard, uh, with your opponent waking up backwards, they can't guard this immediately so as the computer here is demonstrating for you regardless if you hit them they will get hit so it's unguardable and um yeah this move is launch punishable at the moment seasons two after block it is launch punishable um the worst hop kick in the game at this point uh it doesn't launch so it really doesn't do anything so here i'm testing uh 13 frame after this of course it's minus 5 at the moment, so actually I'm testing a 10 frame here actually. Um, of course, with uh, minus 5, if you try to poke after you hit them, you will just get counter hit, right? Obviously. But um, with a plus 1 frame now, you won't be counter hit with a... Uh, you will you will trade... In Season 2, you will trade with back 2, 15 frames. But in Season 3, you will trade with 14 frames instead. So yeah, in other words, uh, if you try throwing a 10 frame after you hit them with that, you were prey with a 14 frame, so don't press buttons after you hit them with that. And then up forward 3, probably our biggest buff. Um, currently minus 14. After this season's over, it will be minus 13 like everybody else's hop kick. I don't know why it wasn't like that to begin with. So yeah, but I mean, there's nothing much to demonstrate there. Uh, the most important one is probably, um, you know, other options. Um, this is a very interesting thing here. As you can see, I'm hitting just frame quite a bit when I uh, do this course over for one, but it's still whiffing because of the timing of when I input it. You have to understand that the input has to be just frame and the timing has to be very close to perfect in order to hit this uh, elbow here. So. Yeah, um, with the update we will get plus one frame to uh, hit this option, so for players that hasn't been hitting this option, you have one more frame to hit this option with, so yeah, it would be, you know, a little bit better, but I guarantee you 99% of the people that aren't using it still aren't going to use it, so yeah, I don't think it make a difference. Um, course number four for our current Season 2 hit looks like that, and um, our current hit on Airborne looks like that, so we're just 
record these clips to see what the future brings us. And of course, running 2-3 is obviously 4-2-3 in this particular matter. I actually like 4-2-3 because it tracks um, clockwise, but with the new option, it might not do it, so it might bug you, but yeah. While Rising 1 gives you a plus 1 damage, uh, and while Rising 1-2 is natural combo, but it doesn't do anything other than 23 damage. So just use Wild Rising 3 because Wild Rising 3 is still better. And that's pretty much all we've got so far. Um, and the final one is the trackability. This is very important. What I'm testing here is after plus three, it does not track characters like Anna, who has a like a C, uh, like a third tier, a third tier side step can walk you after minus three. I mean plus minus three for the opponent. Yeah. But at minus 5 for the opponent, they can no longer walk that side for characters like Anna. So yeah. So what we're testing this is so that in the future, um, we will see if the tracking is increased or if it is not increased. And here we take a look at the uh, updates again and yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Like this video and see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Hopefully December comes around we'll get some new patch notes and hopefully Anna will get some um, good stuff. So yeah, that's it.